Cameron destroy CNN house in this interview. Let's check it out and I'm going to add my two cents to it at the end of this interview. Let's watch it together. Thanks for being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is egregious. I'm against, uh, I don't support, uh, all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize everything him? I just said. Did you recognize that I, I kind of anger at all from your experiences? I don't know him like that. What do you mean? Do I be recognized? Do I recognize him? I've seen him. What do you mean my experiences? I've seen him and I thought, I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but he admitted it was him. So Yeah, he admitted it. Yeah, it was him. What did, what did you think about the apology myself. that he gave in that other video? Amy, for this, the apology ain't for me to decide it's for Cassie. What, what I what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you I feel. I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you had your mm, record that's... deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost gonna bring me to tears to say this. I just. Being that I saw you as as such a good friend, I wanted to put you with somebody I knew with. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram. Yeah, I knew man. With Don't have me just out here crying yeah, and shit, it. man. I don't instantly, want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would would do right by. You. I didn't want to cut this interview until it's complete. But what what is that for? What that have to do with the interview? What that have to do with P. Diddy? Do what he's do with his with Scatty, with Cassie. What 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 that just what 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 Cameron and that guy just said in that interview just now have to do with Diddy kicking his girl on the ground and all those crazy stuff that he was doing. Why why, why playing back that interview? What, what what are you what are you trying to prove? What are you trying to I don't, I don't understand it. I'm lost right here. Why she go dig up about that interview where... No, it's crazy. But let's continue to watch, guys. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there, um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. And y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you mm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that all invited me to. Yo, who? Yo, who booked me for this joint? All I'm right. wild and I don't be Cameron. sitting around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank you. Thank you for having me. You enjoy. <laughs> let me say, before I, before I add my two cents to this interview, let me say this. I condemn Diddy action what i saw on that tape kicking his girlfriend or whatever cassie or whatever i condemn that but let me say this shout out to cameron that's what they do and black american don't even notice these things 
I mean, I saw so many videos, people making videos with all kind of allegation. Diddy's kidnapping baby. Diddy's doing um, sex traffic and all those things what they're saying. And they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, this is all you, this is all you angry these kind of people because what CNN and NBC and most of these mainstream fake media that always want to paint black people in this kind of way. That's what they do. They bring out a black face. They always bring out a black face to interview another brother, to, to, to throw another brother under the bus. Man, salute to Cameron. Salute to Cameron. You think the man sitting around every day like some bum ass waste man on the internet talking all kind of nonsense that, that don't even know what they are talking about. Making all kind of allegations to get views and to, to clickbait about people, about Diddy. Cameron is not Stephen A. Smith. If it's Stephen A. Smith, whoo -wee. Guys, look at this. You remember when Dana White slapped the shit out of his wife. Dana White slapped the shit out of his wife in public. When a man slap his wife or his woman in public, that's something he do on a regular basis. If you feel so bold to slap, don't tell me that the woman put his hand on him first. Don't tell me that. Don't you tell me that. Because you don't know if Cassie put his hand on PDD and PDD rush out defending himself. I'm just, I'm not saying that that is the case, you know, but I'm just saying. But people love to defend. If it's not black, these black face, Stephen A. Smith and all those people like all that CN, um, CNN house, that's what they do. Throw brothers and sisters under the bus. Put our face out there in those kind of light, like woman beat, woman abuser, all kind of things. That's what they do. And a lot of black people fall for it. But guess what? She meet her match. She call up on the right one. Because she hear that interview between Mace and Cameron, when, when, when Cameron said Mace, take him to Biggie Small and not PDD. So they say, oh, there is, must be something why he don't, Make him sign with PDD. Let's, let's get Cameron. Let Cameron throw his brother under the bus. Let Cameron be the FBI. Let Cameron be the feds. But she meet her much. She meet her much. I just, I just hope and pray that. I just hope. And I, I, I just hope that. No, not hope. I wish. Yeah, I wish. A lot more brothers will see what these people is all about what how, what these people is trying to do with our image but a lot a lot of, a lot of brothers don't see it that way they do anything for a paycheck on youtube not me can't live with myself can't live with myself not me but let me say this again guys i condemn what p did do i condemn what then a white do slap his wife. But you see, we don't have this campaign when Dana White slap his wife in public. We don't have this campaign talking about Dana White, you know, abuse his wife. We try to defend Dana White saying that, oh, she hit Dana White first. That is something that he do on a regular basis. Dana White is the head of the, those mixed mat, those, they're fighting cage and all those things. You tell me that he don't train with these people? And his hand is not a lethal weapon as well? If that, if, if what Dana White done, slap his wife in public, if that was a black man do that, all hell would broke loose. I'm just saying. Black people, let's stay on code now. Let's try to stay on code, no? It's not all money is good money. D don't, don't, sell out, don't sell your soul just for a dollar on YouTube. Don't do it. <laughs> Crazy. 
But I condemn what P. did done to Cassie. And I hope, as he said in that, that little video that he done, he's working on himself. I make a video before and I'm saying, and I'm going to say it again, I'm not here to condemn P. Diddy or Diddy, what his name, Sean, whatever they call him name now. I'm not here to condemn him. He says he's working on himself and he's trying to be a better man. I hope he become a better man and don't do those crazy stuff that he used to do back then. Hope he changes his life for the better. I am not here to condemn him or write him off. Yes, Stephen A. Smith come out. Oh, P. Diddy is done. Diddy is done. Diddy is not coming back from this. <laughs> these sell out. These sell out. They always use these blackface on TV. And think they're doing something good. Just remember, guys, when you're doing those things, paint, make, put a blackface out there in the and these kind of situation. You understand? Maybe they said, oh, it's black people do those things. You're just destroying your own image and your own self. You don't even notice that. You're destroying your own image and your own self. Remember, you are black too. <laughs> so if they put, if you help these people to put a black face as a woman beater, the world gonna look at you as a woman beater too. Think about it. Daniel, Dana White slapped his wife in public. And you don't see none of these black face people that on TV come out so strongly against Dana White the way all they're doing against P. Diddy right now. I'm not defending P. Diddy, so don't get this thing twisted. But I'm just showing you the double standard. And us as black people, we lead the chart. It's like we get an erection talking about a black person in, the, in this kind of light. We get an erection. Yeah? I'm telling you. It's crazy, but it is what it is. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comment section. Shout out to Cameron again. Stand up tall as a real brother. I like that. Have a